Hi everyone! Welcome to my video about my July faves. Yes, I can hardly wait to show you these products. They are mostly makeup items, but there's also some great skincare items that I can hardly wait to show you. And if you're 40 plus or 50 plus, a more mature beauty, shall we say, I hope you'll click that bell and subscribe to my channel and join the 50 plus beauty family here. We're all trying to make our second half our best half. Well, as those of you who saw my last monthly favorites know, my first monthly favorite was a Jo Malone fragrance called Orange Blossom. And this is a new one that I've gotten in this past month. I am still wearing the Orange Blossom. In fact, it is truly my absolute favorite. I went through the one ounce of the Orange Blossom and I ordered the three ounce and I'm working on that one as well. This one is called Wild Bluebell. And again, it is one of the fragrances that one of the two royals who got married, Meghan Markle and the other one, I can't remember her name right now. But anyway, each of them wore one of these. One wore Orange Blossom, the other one wore Wild Bluebell. And this is a heavenly fragrance. Oh, I just absolutely love it. It has a very delicate kind of a bluebell scent, but when you walk into the room, people do recognize it. I've had many people comment on both the Orange Blossom and this Wild Bluebell. And the neat thing about these Jo Malone fragrances, if you haven't tried them yet, is that they are for layering. Many days I just wear the Orange Blossom alone, or some days I'll add the Wild Bluebell as a layer. And those two are absolutely beautiful together. Fragrances don't tend to smell very good on me, but both of these are wonderful. Now, my next three items are skincare items, and I am so excited to share these with you. And you know, some YouTubers wear the same skincare items year after year after year. They do the scientific research and they determine that this, this, and this would be good for one's skin. And I started out doing that two years ago when I came to YouTube, but quite honestly, I really want to see results. Yes, the science is very important, but what truly is important to me is, is that skincare item making a difference in my skin? Is it making my oily skin look a little more matte? My big pores look a little smaller? My fine lines and wrinkles kind of go away? And is it bringing on the glow? And for the longest time, I was using Retin-A and these serums and just kind of going along like that. But I was frustrated because I felt like my skin kind of had a red, ruddy, irritated look a lot of the time, and I really wanted something to bring on the glow. And the first thing I found was this Clinique Number no. 4, the Clarifying Lotion. It's a twice a day exfoliator. And I saw a 70 plus year old model talking about this, and I don't remember her name right off the bat, but if I can remember it, I'll put it below in the description below the video and put a link to one of her videos. But, and she said this has made all the difference in keeping her skin exfoliated and bringing on that kind of even toned glowing look. And I have to say, I've been using this for about a month. As you can see there, it's getting down there by about an inch and I am absolutely loving this. I use this just at night and not only does it help to get off the residual amounts of makeup, but I really think that over time it is really helping my pores look smaller. You know, this morning I got up and I looked at my skin in the magnifying mirror and I said, oh my land, my skin really is getting better. And one of the main reasons I think is this wonderful Clinique Clarifying Lotion. And I will say that they have this in several different levels and this is more geared towards a more normal to oily skin tone. So you might look at the other three levels, but I really have to say, if you're not using a toner, I really think you should be. And if you're looking for a great one, this is fabulous. Now this next product I would say is equally as effective as that Clinique Clarifying Lotion 4, and I am absolutely loving this. And this company called Neostrata specializes in glycolic acid lotions. And basically what glycolic acid lotions do is that they peel off that outer layer of dead skin, all those dead skin cells. And when they peel all that dead dry skin away, it just helps your skin look dewier and fresher. And I have truly noticed a fabulous difference using this. And in fact, I have a video that's going to be coming out about this product and also a peel product that goes right along with this, which is equally as fabulous. And I use the peel once a week and I use this every single night. And this is the Neostrata Resurface Face Cream Plus. And this is the 15% AHA or alpha hydroxy acid. But I would recommend that perhaps you start with the 10%. I have very hardy skin. It's not sensitive at all. But if I were you, I would start with the 10%. But what I'm noticing with this is that yes, in the evening when you put it on, it kind of does cause your face and neck to sting just a little bit. And it does turn a little bit red. But by the morning time, all that is a thing of the past. And I really think this is giving me a more fine, even textured skin tone. It's helping to close 
slows down my pores and it's just giving my skin an overall more refined appearance. Now my next product is a vitamin C suspension solution and this is from The Ordinary so it's very reasonable in price and when I first started on YouTube a couple years ago I was using this timeless vitamin C plus E plus perulic acid serum and I will say that while they say vitamin C does great things for your skin it's a wonderful antioxidant and it supposedly helps even out your skin tone the thing that isn't proven is that serums actually get in below the skin at all there's no scientific research that show that serums in and of themselves really do get in your skin and I really Really didn't think it was doing anything in particular for my skin but what it was doing was frustrating me because vitamin C over time in a water suspension which is what this is in a watery suspension it just kind of turns yellow and loses its effectiveness and that happens very rapidly and I was getting very tired of throwing these away and I know all of you say oh keep it in the refrigerator and I did that for a while but it was kind of a hassle so over time I quit using the vitamin C entirely but I really knew that I wanted to add the vitamin C back in, but I didn't want to have to deal with that spoilage issue. And so recently I've started using the Ordinary's vitamin C, and this is a 30% suspension of vitamin C, and it is not in water. So that means the vitamin C is stable and it doesn't degenerate over time. And so now what I'm doing is that in the morning after I apply my moisturizer, and I still use the CeraVe AM moisturizer, then I apply this vitamin C all over my face and my neck and the backs of my hands. I really like this and I've used it for a couple of weeks. It's not going anywhere. It's not degrading over time. I'm really excited to find a vitamin C that I can use and that will stick around. Okay, now let's get into makeup, which is the truly fun part of my July faves. Now I have a wonderful new foundation to show you, which I've just been using over the past three days, but it is fabulous. It is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, and I believe this is in 040 Warm Beige. And they only have about four or five shades of this, which is a drawback, but it is only $10.99, and I got this at Ulta, and it is a full coverage foundation. It goes on pretty watery, though. The only thing I don't like about it is it has one of these not even droppers. It just has one of these glass applicators so it's a little bit messy. You have to pull it out and kind of slough it all over your face and the top of your neck. But the thing I've noticed about this is it gives you great coverage but it does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles. I actually put this on this morning and just powdered it a little bit and it's now about three o'clock. It is an absolutely beautiful foundation which really has a skin look. And if you're on the lookout for a drugstore foundation that is truly wonderful, you might give this one a try. Okay, now let's get into some eye products. And the first product is a Milani eyeliner. And here it is. It's a self-sharpening eyeliner. Absolutely love that. I've really gotten into the self-sharpening eyeliners because I'm really tired of the fact that you have to keep sharpening them. And mostly they're not sharp because I don't tend to sharpen them enough. But this is the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. And this one is in purple. I'm not sure if they call it purple. Let's see. No, they actually call it Duchess, not purple. And it's the eyeliner that I have on right now. And take a look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And you would never guess that this was purple. And I'm kind of a neutral girl. So the idea of wearing purple was kind of foreign to me until I started wearing my natural brown eyes instead of my blue colored contacts. And then I started doing some research on ways to spice up your brown eye color. And everyone kept raving about purple eyeliners and I absolutely love this one. It does have a beautiful point and it glides on smoothly and easily, very easy to apply. And it does last all day, which I really appreciate. And for me, this Milani eyeliner is going to be replacing out another former fave which was the pure on point eyeliner in the color rain it was also a self sharpener i love this one too but really i was disappointed in it because it only lasted me about three weeks and i can't vouch for how long this milani on point eyeliner is going to last but it was only $8.99 so i'm excited about that so i'm replacing my 19 dollars eyeliner with this milani one for $8.99 and i'll let you know how it goes now my next July fave is again an eyeliner and this is a wonderful eyeliner if you like that really smudged out smoky look. This is the L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner in the color brown 
and here it is, and it definitely does not have a great point. In fact, I really do like the idea that this is a chubby one because this allows you to make that kind of smudged outline. It goes on beautifully and it lasts all day. But the thing I've been really using this a lot for lately is that I've been using it in the waterline. And I've been using it in both the upper and the lower waterline. This is in brown and I'm looking for it in black, but I just went to Ulta and they did not have it in black. It was just out of stock there. But basically when you use these in the waterline, it just thickens up the look of your eyelashes. It just gives your eyelashes a more full lush look. I'll put it a little bit on this side, although I already applied it before I did this video. But that is how that goes on just absolutely beautifully. So if you're looking for an eyeliner specifically for your waterline or you like that smudged out smoky look, the L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner is wonderful. Now I'm into my favorite category, which is eyeshadow palettes, and I'm almost embarrassed at how many eyeshadow palettes I have here. I think it's a little bit of a problem, but about a month ago I was in Ulta and this one was on sale, which I was very appreciative of. This is the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette, and this is basically some of Urban Decay's most favorite colors. It's a little bit of a retro look at some of their best-selling colors. And here those colors are absolutely beautiful. Here is a great underbrow color. Love this one for on the lid. Those two are fabulous. This is a great transition color right there. Very, very pretty, rather dramatic brown. And I've really been liking this color here, which is called Retro. And this little peachy color is just wonderful if you just want to add a little warm halo over that brown transition. Love this silvery brown color too. Very, very interesting. Is great on the lid. These shadows being Urban Decay are highly pigmented. They last all day. Absolutely a beautiful palette. Now, if you're in the market for more full face palette, this MAC palette is absolutely wonderful. In fact, I just ordered this from the Nordstrom sale. I've had it just about a week now. It has a very generous mirror there, which I'll try to get out of your face. And it has two separate eyeshadow looks here. Although these are all warm, this is a little bit of a cooler one with some purpley colors in it. And this is the more warm side. And this is actually the side that I have on right now. I have this little color on my lid, very sparkly, beautiful color. I have this color in the transition, which is a beautiful brown, very subtle brown color. Absolutely love that. And then I have this little burgundy brown type color in the very corner and underneath, all smudged out on that lower line there. Absolutely a beautiful look. And then it also has a beautiful little peachy tone blush here and a great highlighter. These MAC shadows are beautiful. They blend beautifully. Look at that. Absolutely a beautiful blended look. And they really do last all day. Now my next palette is a drugstore option and I've been really using this a lot day to day as I go to work in this past month. And this is the NYX eyeshadow palette called Warm Neutrals. Absolutely a beautiful set of colors and they really do just go on beautifully. And this is the warms as you can tell. All of these make great shadow for your brows. There are a few little pinkies in here and then there's some warmer colors with some peaches. Absolutely love that beautiful burgundy color. Look at the pigment in that color. And look at this one. If you're really like into the Urban Decay Cherry, that is a good red that really does kind of approximate that. I really even like this little pink product. It looks good in the halo area. This is truly a wonderful palette with great warm colors with lots of staying power. Yeah. Now, I'm really excited about this Catrice Blush, Highlighter, and Bronzer palette. And this is $14.99 at Ulta. And this was on the same display as this great foundation. And I thought, you know, this looks wonderful and I'm going to give it a try. Had never tried this before. This is their California in a Box palette. And I really love this. And in fact, this is the blush and the highlighter that I have on right now. Basically, I love this pinky blush and I started with that pinky blush. And then I went over it with a little bit of this peachy color just to kind of warm it up, give it a little bit of illumination. And I have this bronzer under my cheekbones, but actually I could have used the warmer too. It's a little bit lighter. I think maybe that would have been a little better on me, but I think these look just great. And this highlighter is absolutely fabulous. And I already have highlighter on. In fact, I use this whole palette, but I'll go ahead and put it just on one cheek. So maybe you can see how it looks because my next palette is actually a MAC highlighter palette. So I'll leave this cheek bare and I'll go ahead and put a little bit of highlighter here. I hope you can see that. Oh my, isn't that just beautiful? I like it a little bit down on the apple of the cheek too. Look how that looks. Take a little bit down my nose, a little bit in the middle of my forehead. Is look at my upper lip. 
I just dab that in the middle of it and it really does accent it beautifully. For $14.99 or any price, this is a wonderful facial palette. Now my next July Faves is a Total Highlighter Palette and this is from MAC and it's their Hyper Real Glow Palette. And take a look at this. Let me get rid of the little plastic here. Look at those beautiful, beautiful highlighters. And I have really been using these quite a lot this month. This is a beautiful kind of champagne colored highlighter. This one has a little bit of a pink to it. And this one has a beautiful kind of a subtle peach. These look subtle here. And while they're not kind of wah wah in your face, they do give you a really highlighted look. And I still have this cheek left. So let's go ahead and take one of these highlighters. I guess I'll take the champagne-ish highlighter. And I sure hope you can see it since I had highlighter on to begin with. Ooh, very, very pretty. See that highlighter? Absolutely beautiful. I re-highlight my nose. So there is that highlighter. Maybe it would be better to kind of mix these two together. A little more of a natural look. So there is how that highlighter looks. You know, this is a stronger highlighter than the other. So I'll go ahead and kind of add a little bit on this side too, just to kind of even that out. A little bit on the forehead too, and a little bit above the lip on the nose. Woo, I am glowing with highlighter. So there is how that highlighter looks. Maybe it's a little extreme since I did use two different highlighter products, but I really, really do like this. And while this is a strong highlighter, it still looks natural. Okay, the last makeup items I'm going to show you are lip products, and it is the lip trio that I have on right now. And here is the lipstick, and this is the Flower Beauty brand matte lipstick in the color Spiced Petal, and there that is, absolutely beautiful. And it is thought to be a dupe for the Pillow Talk, which as you know who followed my channel, I absolutely love Pillow Talk. But this month, I brought this out again, and I've been wearing it and wearing it and wearing it, because I think it's like the Pillow Talk with a little bit of a pink in it, a little bit of a mauve, which I think is very, very pretty, that your lips but better color. And so I'm going to go ahead and take off this lipstick and show you all three of these products. So there I am down to natural lips, and I'll go ahead and apply the Spiced Petal. Absolutely love this. My husband is singing in the background. I hope you can't hear that. So there is that Spiced Petal. Very pretty color. And then to define it, I have gone in with this MAC Lip Pencil in the color Boldly Bare. And MAC Lip Pencils are some of my absolute favorites. They are beautiful natural colors. They go on very smoothly and they last a long time. I'll go ahead and put this on for you. Kind of like that. There's that color. It's just the perfect pinky nude, which would go with lots and lots of different lip colors. Truly love that because I think it gives you a great defined border. Now for lip gloss, and I mostly do apply a lip gloss over my lipsticks, I have one of two options. The first is a more natural one. This is the Milani Keep It Full Lip Gloss in the color Soft Rose, and I'll show you that. It just gives you a little bit of a shine. I'm not going to apply that one, but just imagine this with a little bit of a rosy shine, and that is the color of the Milani Keep It Full Lip Gloss but I've really been liking to go a little bit more dramatic because I am a drama girl. And this is the NYX Filler Instinct in the color, what is it called? It is called Sparkling Please. And that is a perfect name for this. At first I thought it was a little weird, but Sparkling Please is totally perfect because that's what this is. It's just a whole tube of pink sparkle. And here we go. It's actually kind of a whitish sparkle. Look at how beautiful that looks. And I have been wearing this over many of my nude lipsticks. It looks great with nudes. It looks great with roses. I really don't go darker than roses now. Absolutely a beautiful sparkling gloss. And the wonderful thing is about this and the Milani, they come at a drugstore price. Now the last two products I was sent from PR, and these are the John Frieda Frizz Ease products. This one is the Extra Strength 8 Effects Serum. It says it makes coarse frizzy hair instantly soft and shiny. And I did try this and there was nothing wrong with it, but really I didn't notice that it did anything particularly wonderful for my hair. But this product I really do like. This is the Frizz E Secret Weapon Touch Up Cream. What this product does, it's kind of an instant defrizzer for your hair. And my hair looks a little frizzy right now, so I'll go ahead and show you how it works. So here it is, it's just a little cream, and there it is. You don't use very much. I've used this for the past couple of days and really like it. It just kind of goes to a little liquid on your hand. And then you just pull it through your hair. 
don't get too much on there or your hair just looks kind of damp and kind of lifeless. But as you can see, as you pull that through, it just takes your frizzy hair and just makes it sleeker and shinier and more like healthy hair. And I don't know if you can see that and I have no idea how the back looks. I hope it looks okay. And then after pulling it through, I just take the brush, kind of lightly go through it. And as you can tell, it's just made my kind of frizzy hair softer, sleeker, and smoother. Well, thanks for watching my July faves. And if you have other favorite products you'd like to share, or if you have an opinion about any of the products I've shared here today, I hope you'll leave a comment in the comment section below the video. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll click that bell and subscribe and or give this video a thumbs up and or share it with your friends too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I've been using these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we can think about for today. Ooh, I like this one. If I want to feel supported, I must support myself. If I want to feel supported, I must support myself. Oh friends, this is absolutely a wonderful card. And you know, in my first half, I think when I was feeling a little down, feeling a little out of sorts, I always looked for someone around me to kind of pump me up, whether that be my husband or a friend, something like that. But in my second half, I've really realized that happiness is truly an inside job. And that if we need support, the first place to look is right in our own hearts and say, hey Beth, what is it that you really need right now? Do I need to read a book? Do I need to meditate? Do I need to have a moment with God? What do I need right now to make myself feel cared about and supported? So friends, just for today, let's realize that in those times when we need a little extra support, let's look no further than the woman in the mirror. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.